Too late, adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video, Harmony. Uh, one, it's continuing pumping, so I thought we should do an update on what's actually happening with it. Uh, anyways, let's get into the charts and see what's actually happening with uh, Harmony. So last time we did video, it was somewhere around 17, something like this, and uh, on this candle over here, and I said like it's reaching some kind of a top. It did reach some kind of top and it had some kind of correction down all the way, uh, like 25% correction down in the next two days. But now, luckily for you guys, it's continuing going up. Uh, because this was overextended, this, the move was overextended. We said it was going to go down, it went down and found some kind of bottom and it continued going up. You see here, oh, this is on the 4 hourly, it went down to the 20 moving average, bounced two times on the 20 moving average and uh it's now going for for the move higher up so i was looking a little a bit about technicals and i was like uh, this cannot go on for a lot longer i mean i mean maybe uh, maybe this week maybe next week uh but uh, it's gonna pop soon and i'm gonna show you why it's gonna pop soon but i mean however high it's go it goes it goes but uh, it's not gonna pop it's just gonna have a correction i'm gonna show you what kind of correction i mean now the good thing about this is if you look on the daily and the and the uh and the and the volume is that uh, price is moving and the volume is going up as well so the price and volume are corresponding so uh, the move is legit if you want to say it like that uh all moving averages are the way they should be and all looks fine and dandy now what i want to talk to you about is this rsi uh rsi now this is on the daily and here when we had this move on the daily right the rsi on the daily was up at uh, 90 90 so uh, we uh, had to have some kind of correction i mean it could have uh, uh, go up further but we were looking at another indicator as well that was telling us that uh, we are probably at the top and we were at the top so we we had this uh, two-day correction all the way down to uh, 0.13 and the rsi went all the way down, back down to the 78 that's very healthy level on the daily and now it can continue going up and maybe even past uh, the uh, 90 and stuff like that. it has to go past 90 if it if it, uh, if it doesn't want to get the uh, RSI divergence because if it doesn't go past 90 then you get this RSI divergence and then uh, the uh, move uh, down is very likely uh, now but if it continues going higher up and RSI goes uh, above 90 then you can have maybe another move uh, after that as well and stuff like that Th those, those are assumptions we are not going to talk too much about assumptions but right now the, this move is legit it's, it's going to go higher especially since the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, RSI is only at around 82 or something like that on the daily on the daily so today may uh, today it can still go further up and maybe even tomorrow and stuff like that now what I want to talk to you about is the uh, let's turn off the uh, this one and now what I want to talk to you about is the weekly RSI <clears throat> the weekly RSI is stupidly high it's around uh, 94 uh, that, that, that that's probably as high as you you can get i mean you can push it even higher uh further up but you can see here from uh i mean it can go to whatever but it it is very high up this correction over here uh, it doesn't look big but it's actually that's actually 56 percent correction almost 60 percent correction and down and something like that can happen and this happened when the rsi was only at 92 91.57 this is right now at uh, 50 94.56 so if you continue going even higher up uh, chances are after after this week it's it's chances are after this week it's probably gonna have a, a 60 percent correction or something like that again uh again i'm not saying it, it it's gonna have a correction it's gonna go all the way down but you have to understand that uh, when the RSI is this much up, it has to do the same thing it did on the daily, have a correction. So the RSI can deflate a little bit. And then you can have maybe another week or two uh, move, uh, move up uh, with the price, right? So that's the plan. That's, that, that's the plan what you want to wanna see. But uh, if this is going to... I don't think it's going to happen actually today. Today is up like 20%. Uh, everything is up very, uh, very nicely because Bitcoin is going up. But uh, this move over here on the daily, I don't think it's going to stop uh, right now because the daily is only at 92 
but weekly uh it all depends it all depends how, how long how what what day is it today uh is it thursday tuesday thursday maybe wednesday so uh, let me see it's it's wednesday today yeah it's wednesday so it's wednesday today so you still got like three four day, days left of the trading before the weekly close and uh, the weekly close is actually gonna be very interesting to see uh how high the rsi will be on the weekly close uh so that's what i see want to see this also might i don't think this is gonna go uh, it's hard to tell i don't think it's gonna go this uh, this week uh down uh, I think it's going to continue pushing the uh, the uh, RSI uh, for, uh, further up. Now, if the RSI cannot go past 90 uh, and and the price goes uh, a lot higher up, then you can you see some kind of a divergence on the daily, and that might be uh, uh, that might indicate some kind of problems in the paradise. Uh, you can see over here that here is uh, some kind of divergence already in the making. Uh, so. But this happens all the time, like even over here, uh, for example, price went up, uh, the RSI went down, right? And then you get these uh, uh, these small drops. So something like this might happen uh, here as well. Right now, uh, you get this uh, small drop over here, because so you can reset the RSI a little bit. But usually, uh, that might be only to this uh, 20 moving average that's over here moving right so that might be that that might be that as there is nothing to say that this isn't gonna go higher uh, we had this correction we resetted some indicators and now uh, the price is moving uh, higher how high the price is gonna go that that's hard to tell man especially on, on these uh, on these very parabolic moves uh, it's hard to tell when uh, the price what the price target should be uh, there are people doing some uh, uh, there are people doing some uh, what am I going to say it? Uh, Fibonacci extensions and stuff like that, uh, but will that happen or not? I don't like using Fibonacci extensions. Uh, I find more comfortable uh, to use uh, uh, trending lines and stuff like that. Uh, like uh, this one over here, you can see here that we are hitting some kind of top, and maybe uh, it's going to go to 0 0.22 or something like that. How much percent is that left up? Uh, that's uh, uh, around 20 more percent up up to this line over here where it should get some kind of resistance uh, breaking of this uh, this resistance line over here it should indicate a very bullish uh, sentiment so that can also happen so keep in mind it looks more and more parabolic the more you zoom in it looks more and more parabolic this looks very parabolic and then you can zoom stretch it and it's like yeah, man, we, we are just in the start. Like, this is gonna go like this. This is gonna go like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, 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 we are allowed to joke. We are allowed to joke. Anyway, if you guys like the analysis, uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, share down the comments. I read all the comments. Even all the comments from the scammers, I read those as well. Uh, they are very interesting. Thanks for watching. See you around. Bye bye.